So every winter what we do is go out, go down to the city where they provide sand and make sandbags and then bring them back and put a wall, make our own wall of sandbags, which is basically the embankment of the river that forms in our street. And we put a double, a, a double layer of sandbags across the driveway. And then obviously we can't use the driveway all winter. So occasionally we move the sandbags off to use the driveway and then move them back when it's raining again. But it's just not, it's not a good way to live. Our company has been on Rollins Road since 1996 and we're next to Mills Creek. And um, so my office is right outside the creek and we've had some serious problems with flooding here in 97. Um, the creek um, overflowed, we had to sandbag, the water came right up to the windows. We were about an inch away from our inventory being flooded. We had to move computers up off the floor. We were sure for certain that we were going to be flooded. So the business had to stop for that week, all because the creek was overflowing its banks. This is one of our features of our uh, flood control system, and it's our creeks. Uh, this is a creek that is running all the way from the hills down to the bay. We have seven of these creeks. We also have 45 miles of underground pipe. And in addition to that, we have 120 miles of gutter along our streets that drain our city. We have five major pump stations, and I'm standing also next to one of those major pump stations. Our system is 75 years old and needs to be replaced. Just like the roof in your house, you can repair it periodically, but sooner or later, you're going to have to go out and replace the roof. Our heaviest rainstorms occur in January, concurrent with the highest high tides of the year. And when you have water coming into the bay, that salt water hitting that fresh water coming down in the hills, when they collide, you have the potential for a major, major disaster. We spent $2 million a year making improvements to our system but we cannot keep up with the rate of deterioration. It's gotten to the point now where the system will fail unless we have a complete overhaul of it. The City Council has decided to take a proactive approach to keep our community safe from our ongoing flooding from our seven creeks. This June, the City Council unanimously put a bond measure, Measure H, on the November ballot to help us fund our ongoing needs so that we can keep our city safe from flooding for the next 50 years beautiful homes, beautiful parks, good schools, and the most important thing as I see it is that we have to preserve what we have, and the way you preserve something is to take care of the underpinnings of the buildings and the streets and the trees in the community. And so if we do have this bond issue that's going to help us, it's an opportunity for everyone to benefit from it. Measure H on average would cost most property owners only $125 per year, and senior citizens can defer their payment until after they've sold their home. Measure H is for Burlingame only. Your money stays in Burlingame. So in November, when you go to the polls, vote on Measure H.